are straight into a fight with whoever this guy is. <laughs> we don't he, we don't even know his name yet. So he's got HG forty five VXs. Very descriptive names. Yeah. Okay, that, that's that's good. They do no damage to me, that's a great start. I do just love to sit through all of their attack animations, but that's fine. So, what do we know about this guy so far? So he It looks like his outfit was Utic based, but it doesn't seem like his he is with Utic. But other than that, we don't really know anything else about him. They call him Master, so it makes me think he's some high-ranking royalty, noble, nobility, something. Someone important. I'm sure we'll find out eventually. <clears throat> Would've been nice to actually get a name for him. JR Junior. <laughs> okay. I mean, no one else in that party has a normal name, so why would they start now, you know? Oh, a cloak ship. That makes sense. It was a trap! A tarp! Whoa, whoa, hold up! Trying to cover up the evidence? Probably the something like that. Not another bloody mothership. But enough of those who won't die. Goodbye, Wogelin Day. I hardly knew ye. Ship has begun its retreat. <sighs> It'd be nice if we could just let him go. But we can't do that. We can't. Shelly, give him a little nudge. And when he says a little nudge, you know what that means. A big nudge. Set engines to ramming speed. Penetrate the <coughs> Oh, literally ram into them. Okay. I mean, when you do have a very pointy ship like that, I suppose ramming is quite a good weapon. <laughs> it just stabs them with their nose. All right. Our objective is the enemy mainframe. Utilize all available terminals and counter any protective measures. Once inside, engage all hostiles. All hands, move out. 
Whoever this guy is, he's got an entire army working for him. Jesus. Well, shall we head for the bridge, little master? Ready? All right. Let's get this over with and go home. So I guess we were in a section with these guys. All right. Yep, here we are. Let's go into the menu and have a look, shall we? So we've got Junior, Mary, and Generic Soldiers. Can't access stuff. Interesting. We can access the robot. <clears throat> Can't do anything now. Okay. Have a look at the characters at least. So he has guns. Cool. Cowboy hat. Hell yeah. <laughs> For an adventure enthusiast. Right. Okay. Judging by. What's his name? Virgil. <laughs> the guy that Cosmos killed. It, he. His equipment couldn't be modified like this. Which means to think that Mary is not going to be a full time party member in the future. She's just a guest. But Junior is a party member in the future. Because I can change his stuff. Don't have access to ether and stuff though, which is interesting. The enemy forces would be fairly tough. Multiple egg, eggs, eggs. Still not entirely sure on the pronunciation. Of Please be careful. From the Durandal. The main objective is to hack into the mainframe of the Utic ship. <laughs> okay. Oh. Hi there. Please be careful, little master. No. This way then. Antidote. Make it. Tech upgrade A. Ether upgrade A. Cool. Always nice to loot a ship. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, as bad as expected. to see what happens though you know I got no time for like you. we had to test it for science yeah. Yeah. this is a good chance to try out these characters in battle they start in uh, robots that's interesting which one means they won't heal up between battles hmm Cross shot, prelude to battle. Hmm. So, you know, just going off what little we know. So, earlier he was like, he likes to read. So, he's like, he likes the old fashioned stuff, right? I think that's what they were making fun of him for earlier. It's like, reading is so... reading books is so outdated, but he likes the old stuff. And his weapon is also a... in this universe, a retro gun, basically. Because <laughs> it doesn't seem like his weapon is like a laser or something like that. Maybe, I don't know. It 
some medkits. So don't walk into the lasers. Ah. Um, you know, makes sense, yeah. And can't go that way because the laser's there. Okay. I understand the assignment. Do what? He was hiding in the wall. Alrighty then. Got something hidden here, right? <laughs> okay, why did we want to do that? Turn this door go there? Ah, it's locked. Fine, make me go the long way around. There's a switch. I mean, the one thing this game has taught me so far is if there is a switch, press the switch. I don't think you can open it with my bare hands. Mm, I don't know. I think you could. I think you could do it. Skill upgrade A's. That's pretty good. Hopefully, those will carry over into the main part. Well, now that's just sneaky. What? No, no. <laughs> There's two of them. I'm gonna have to check. Are there any treasures in here that they were hiding? No. Well, let's keep on moving. Two frame repairs. We're probably gonna need those. Ah, opens door number four, I presume. Phenomenal. Anything else in here? Nope. What's behind door number four? Ah, more but no oh, keycard slot. Not be controlled unless you're good at the console. Okay, so we need the key card. Cure Biosphere. You guys I right. Start close suddenly. Scrap ball. So they ambushed us. None of his vitals are hit. Well, that's good. He's looking for a card key. Hmm. Interesting little room. Hmm, door number five is there. Okay. Destroy the plants. Tech upgrade? Skill upgrade? Oh, come on. That's cheeky. Okay, so, not to self. Don't do that again. Okay, this place is just full of traps.